and welcome to another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Joanne LaFlam. I'm Chris Costa. So Chris, what do you want to talk about today? Well, I thought we could talk about uh, submitting orders into Enterprise through PageDNA using EPMS Connect. Sure, that's a great topic. Um, as you know, PageDNA uh, is a partner of ours. Um, we have a great relationship with them. Um, a lot of mm -hmm. customers are using PageDNA to um, submit orders for their customers to submit orders. And True. as you said, using EPMS Connect, those orders can be sent to Connect and then be sucked right into Enterprise mm -hmm. um, to be then processed. Okay. So we can take a look at that. Um, what we can do is we can do a sample order. We have a sample page DNA site that we can submit an order in and show you how it comes in Enterprise. Okay. That sounds All good. Right? Sure. All right, so let's first take a look at page DNA. I'm going to open up my browser window and I have the site open to where I can log in to my page DNA uh, online store. So I'm going to click on the continue on button and log into page DNA. And here I have my PageDNA website set up, and on this site we have a, a bunch of different items that we can order. We have business mm -hmm. cards, letterhead, envelopes, so I'll order one of our business cards. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to click on the drop down here and for this business card, and I'm going to choose my quantity, and then I'm going to click on Add. So this is going to add it to the order, and it's going to bring up the page where I can put in a name and address information here. I'm going to pick a, I'll pick a different address. I'll pick my Phoenix address here. And um, this is the information that's going to basically be printed on the card. I can come down here and click on Proof Your Items. And that's going to show me my business card with the address and phone and contact information that I selected on the previous page. From here, I can continue shopping and order different items. I can save the order for later or I can check out. So I'm going to check out. And now I can enter my shipping information here. So it'll default to my ship to address. I can change it here. Um, when that's all set, I can click on my billing information here to enter billing information. And it will bring up my billing screen. And here in the billing screen, I can put in credit card information. This is just a test site. So I'm going to just put in a purchase order number for this particular purchase. And I'm going to click on the send order button. And this is going to submit the order into page DNA. And in a couple minutes, we'll see a screen that will show the order. So I get a little thank you screen and it shows me my order. And from here, I can start a new order or mm -hmm. log out. Okay. Now, what, what's happening now at this point is that order is being processed in page DNA. Mm -hmm. I will get an email that will. Um, tell me that the, the order has been processed and give me the order right, information. Right. But at the same time, it's also going to send an order to Enterprise or to EPMS Connect that will get mm -hmm. sucked into Enterprise. Now that will take a few minutes. It can take you know five to 10 minutes um, for that process to happen and the order to show up in Enterprise. Okay, okay. and that order that order is coming from PageDNA hooking through our EPMS Connect. Correct. That's how it's submitting the order into Enterprise. Correct. Okay. And now these items that we, you can put on page DNA, they can be items that are tied to a template code in Enterprise, so they can mm -hmm. be print-on-demand items, like sure. our business card. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, that will tie into a template that you have in Enterprise. Mm -hmm. They can also be finished good items. Uh, I have a couple finished good items on the site for, um, you, they could be anywhere from t-shirts, mugs, whatever you set up. You can yeah. link an item in page DNA to a finished good item in Enterprise, and right. it will create a finished good order, an order with a finished good component in okay. Enterprise. Okay? All right. So we're going to take a look in a minute at the order in Enterprise to see how it came into Enterprise. Okay. Okay? All right. Um, I guess one other question while we're maybe waiting for this, um, the items up on the site, I presume that page DNA can help our EPMS users getting those items on the site? Absolutely. They'll help mm -hmm. you, um, you know, set up your site initially. Um, and okay. basically, you'll be linking the items. Um, there's a, a screen in page DNA where you'll tell it for each item that you set up in page DNA what yeah. the template code is or finished okay. good code is yep. um, for okay. Enterprise. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to open up Enterprise and we're going to take a look at the order. So this is my order that came in today. This is the order number. This outside order ID is a field that you can add to the data grid and this will be the order number in page DNA. Um, I'm going to edit this order and just show you how it came in. Now in page DNA you'll tie each site to a customer account. So in page DNA we'll send that customer account to Enterprise. So that's how it picked my EPMS customer. 
It put in the description field EPMS order with page DNA's order number here. And then it brought in the component and tied it to the template code that I told it to tie it to. And that template code would bring in the layout, the paper, and the processes here that um, I just had created the template with. And you'll see it also brought in the quantity and the manual price. So now that order is in Enterprise. It can mm -hmm. then be processed okay. and like you would any other order in Enterprise. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That sounds good. Um, so is it just a one-way integration in, or is there a way to go back to page DNA at all? Actually, there is a way to, mm -hmm. go, to go back. It's a separate module. We have a write-back okay. module for page DNA. And what mm -hmm. that will do is when you um, complete the job in shipping and you've put in all the tracking information, mm -hmm. the, uh, it's a Windows service that will then send that tracking information back up to page DNA and mm -hmm. update the order with the tracking information. Okay, perfect. Okay. Okay. Do you have any other questions on how I that works? I think that was a good look. Well, okay. thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Joanne LaFlam. I'm Chris Costa. Please look forward for more to come.